demand, I'm going to be showing you a quick five minute or so core workout. You can do it before ballet class, you can do it at home while you're just sitting watching television, something like that. This is very, very simple exercises you've probably all seen before, a little bit of Pilates. Um, but it's just very, very quick and you can use it to work your abs, warm up your abs, anything. So we're going to start laying down with something called the Pilates roll up. Again, you might have seen it, but I want to make sure you're doing it correctly. So we're going to arms go overhead, curling up, keeping the neck neutral. Really curl through the stomach, not here, curling up and over. Keep the curl. Don't lose it. Keep the curl. And then roll back, pretending you are pulling an imaginary bar all the way back. Helps slow the movement down. The slower you can do this, the better. Again. Curling up and over that beach ball, right? Then grab that imaginary bar, pulling it back. Again, the slower you can do it, the better. So four or five of those, something like that. Then the next one, sitting up, nice and tall, hinge halfway back. Let go of the arms and just back an inch and up and back an inch and up. That's all. You should really feel it because you have to stabilize, right? If the hip flexors are bothering you, you can knock the knees or for a challenge, straighten the legs, right? This is just a very small movement, great for warming up the core, you know, maybe 10, 20 reps or so, right? It's about stabilizing, not arching, right? Keep the curl. Last part of the little workout is the Pilates 5 ab series. Again, I will give you an option in a second. So the first one is the single leg pull. Just one knee in, one knee out. You can either do it with the arms or without the arms for more of a challenge. This is about using the abs, not swinging the legs, but pulling the legs, right? Use the abs to change your legs. Second exercise, both legs in, arms overhead, legs out, and in. Arms out, legs out, and in. I'm not arching, right? Don't arch the back. Only go as low as you can without arching the back, okay? Also, you can do it without the arms, maybe, right? Third exercise, scissors. One leg switches, other leg, right? Again, maybe no arms to really use the abs, okay? Again, this is not about pulling, right? It's about using the abs to change your legs. Fourth exercise, hands behind the head, lower, and lift just a hair, lower, and lift. Or you can keep the neck down, head and neck down, right? But again, I'm not arching. Keep the back completely neutral. You'll feel like you can barely lower the legs, but that's working your stomach rather than arching your back. So lower and lifting. Final little exercise, crisscross, right? Opposite elbow to opposite knee, right? Again, this is not about huh and huh, right? It's about using the obliques, okay? So one leg in, one leg out, knee bent, both arms and legs out, pull them back in. Scissors, lowering just the legs, either head down or head up, and then the crisscross. Here's the option. Do it normally, like I just did, to really work the upper stomach, obliques. If you want to really work the lower stomach, though, which is the harder area, grab a pillow, and this is what we do in my online stretch and strength. Lift the hips, put it under the hips, right? And you're already slightly curled up, and you should feel the lower stomach. This is how you really get into that. Plus, it's instability, right? You're not flat on the ground. It's very unstable. So, you can do the entire series, right, using the pillow, and it really works that lower core, and it prevents you from gripping the hip flexors. So, normal to work the upper, using the pillow to work the lower, and I'm telling you, you will feel it. Okay? So, that's it. The roll-ups, the back and inch, up and inch thing, and the five exercises from Pilates. You, again, before class, after class, while you're watching TV, doesn't matter. Um, just to tell you all, again, I know I flaked out on the Tuesday video. 
I will get back to the normal Tuesday, Friday posting schedule this upcoming week. Plus, I think one day I'm going to do an extra blog post somewhere in there. So we'll have two videos and a blog post. That's the goal. Also, a lot of you have been asking me to get on Snapchat and Pinterest. So if you are interested in me working those two things out, because I'm not on there currently. If you're interested in me getting on Snapchat or Pinterest, let me know in the box below. Again, I love catering to all of you. Um, and also be watching for online, my online classes. I'm going to start a jumping and turning class where you will already be warm when the class starts and just for an hour we'll work on jumps and turns. Okay, in the allotted space that we have, just breaking them down, really honing our technique for jumps and turns. Okay, so please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. I will include little things like this. Let me know about Snapchat and Pinterest if you all would like me to get on there. Also, the jumping and turning class, be watching for that. Um, and the regular posting schedule. Love you all so much, and I will see you next week. If you missed my March Q&A, you can click it to watch. Also, here are my social media links, and please click the subscribe button to subscribe. I'd love to have you.